Hi everybody, I'm Doc Daly and I'm filming from location from the master John Dodd Studios. And uh, he's been so kind as to let me use his professional grade vacuform machine. Uh, this right here is what you're looking at. This is the vacuum side and this is the heating coil so that way you can take your vacuform plastic, put it over here, flip it over and hope for the best. So uh, this is the visor for the Oceanic helmet. Uh, as you can see I've used clay to fill it in so that way it doesn't suction cup underneath so we can do multiple sheets and not have to worry about dremeling out each, uh, each page. Uh, so hopefully it should work fairly well. You're about to find out in a second. So uh, with that being said, we're going to edit real quick and get this out. It's clear plastic, so you probably can't see it. The camera probably can't see it, but there's a sheet of clear plastic in here. We're going to heat the plastic when it's soft, or a little bit soft, we flip it over and turn on the vacuum machine, which will suck all the air out and make the now softened plastic conform to the shape of Rob's positive mold. So, here we are heating the plastic. You'll see, I think you'll see, the heating elements start to glow, a warm color. and. Uh, I remember when we were using the uh, opaque plastic, yeah, it was the... We're trying the thinner plastic first, because I'm a little um, skeptical that the, the thick plastic that Rob bought is going to work in my machine, which is not a toy machine, but it's not an industrial heavy-duty machine either, and I don't know if it's up to the challenge of those thick sheets. This is the thinner sheet. This is 0 .022 uh, thickness. thickness. The ones I got are actually uh, 0 0.110, so it's actually one-tenth of an inch uh, thick. This is... This is kind of like experimental. I haven't done this kind of sheeting. I'm not sure how soft it should get. I'm just using judgment, intuition, and guessing. I know sort of it. When it starts to sink down towards the heated elements, then it's ready. And it's getting close. All right. Almost. Here we go. Let's try. Experiment number one. So I just got the marking holes to drill because we've been having issues with uh, the vacuform material uh, creasing where it would be visibly shown. So we're going to try and uh, drill a couple holes. I took off more of the clay because it looked like the, the clay was getting too hot and reacting with the hot plastic causing it to kind of squelch and not really be very good. So uh, we're going to drill some holes and see if that fixes that. That should be even really thin. This is a hole, and is this is that yes, a mark? Yes, that's, that's, that's correct. I can make it bigger for you. Sure. No, I just don't want to drill in the wrong place. You're good. We're going to try this again. Is the lighting good for you? Lighting is perfect. I'm trying it again. The difference is, the difference is we've drilled a few holes in the mold, which is going to help um, the suction, help the uh, machine to pull the plastic more tightly against Rob's positive visor mold. That's the theory. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it works. Warming the plastic. This is totally one of those spots where like we just fast forward to like you know the good part. It's like <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> See, but I'm totally okay with it pulling there. <laughs> That's all right. Yes. What all right. do we do right? <laughs> well, all right, so the... Actually, after a couple of months, like after it started to really pull, you could actually see how the holes really got rid of all that extra garbage. See, and there's the no clay here probably that probably made the difference. And the clay was doing no good. Yeah, the clay. They were uh, probably yeah. it was probably like a friction thing that kept the material from stretching probably. as freely as it needs to do to be smooth. Yep, yep, yep. So, so cut out all the failures and just go directly, <laughs> cut directly to this. Wait. Oh. Let's do it. Oh no. What happened? <gasps> Hi, this is Doc Daly's fail blog part two. Tried so hard not to have this happen again. But this is what happens when you vacuform and uh, the creases happen in places that you don't necessarily expect. Uh, what you got right here is uh, a crease that just happened right into the optical area that you were looking for, and there's a whole bunch of, you know, bumps, blemishes, and all that kind of stuff that just it, it screwed up. And then over here, same difference. You can see how uh, there's creases. Obviously, these are fine, but down here it caused creases and buckling, and it just was was awful. So the way in which you maneuver your piece and how it comes up and over the actual uh, buck or uh, actual model that you're trying to vacuum form, it doesn't matter. So uh, there you go. That's um, fail part two. <laughs>